Hi, I'm Colin. I'm James. And welcome to Let's Talk Retro. It's our last video of the month, so James, that can mean only one thing. It's time for some pickups. Yeah, so it's time for some pickups and uh, I'm quite interested to see what you've got. I've not really seen what you've got. I don't think you've really seen what I've got, so it's going I've to be some surprises for both of us. I've got quite a few things to show you. Yeah, good. So. Um, I'll start off, shall I? Yeah. And I'm going to start with something that some of you would have already seen. Those of you that watched my video last week on this, Sonic Mania. Look at the size of it. Yeah, the collector's edition. And uh, if you want to know what I think of this and uh, see what's inside it, and more importantly, what's not inside it, then check out the video I did last week for that. I'll stick a link for it in the uh, video description. But uh, yeah, so it's. Uh, Seventy nine ninety nine, and basically I called the video, is it worth, <laughs> is it worth it, or is it worth seventy nine ninety nine? So yeah, check out that video to see my thoughts on that. As far as the game goes, um, I haven't actually downloaded it yet. So what? yeah, so everyone says it's really good. I'm looking forward to playing it, and uh, it's bank holiday weekend coming up, mm. and then I've also I think we've both got next week off work. So yeah. it's always good to have your holidays after a bank holiday because you get uh, five days for the price of four. And uh, anything better than that's taking a sickie, I guess. But <laughs> so um, yeah, so Sonic Mania, that's my first pickup. Um, cool. So what have you got, James? Okay, I <coughs> have being a massive N64 collector. I've got this. Now this is Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Eighties music, all eighties. Alexa, sharp. Sorry about that. She's my answer. Okay. So this is an N64 game. Now you might be, you might think, oh, I've never heard of that game before. It's because it's a homebrew hack. Oh, right. And it's called Zelda Legend of, well, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. So this is a, a ROM hack of Ocarina of Time with new missions and all sorts. If you haven't heard of it before, have a Google. There's a, if, when you're on eBay next, if you change it to worldwide, you'll find sellers of this because you generally don't get them in the UK. And it's just, yeah, it looks like, label's brilliant. It looks like a game that you'd uh, pick yeah, up anywhere. But Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not an expert in, on N64 cartridges, but it, um, it looks like a real card, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks legit, but it's now, it's a... Uh, Plastic, just it feels the same, same sort of quality to me. So, yeah, it's... Uh, which is nice. So next up for me, and I've got something that's not particularly retro, but it is a game. You love Uncharted. And yeah, I'm a big Uncharted fan. Uh, keep getting better and better these games. And I actually forgot this one was coming out though, even though I'm a big fan, and I didn't pre-order it. But it's arrived today and it's Uncharted The Lost Legacy. And uh, again, like I say, we'll be in the bank holiday weekend and have next week off, looking to uh, get lost in playing this. And uh, it's only 25 quid, so I think it's, they say it's only about 10 hours long. Mm. But they, everyone says they're really impressed, it only took them about over a year to make it. Uh, I suppose they're using the same engine wow. as Chartered 4 and Chartered 4 and stuff like that. But That's super quick, isn't but it? But it is quick for a game, game and it's, uh, so it's supposed to be about 10 hours long, they reckon, and they say it's really good. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing that, and I say it's about 25 quid at the moment, but probably the price will drop over time. So, yeah. Uh, PS4. Yeah, and tried the Lost Legacy. So, what's your next pickup, then, mate? My next pickup is something a little unusual. Yeah, never seen. Any that. idea what that is? No. Any takers? What that is? Looks like a wipeout sort of style. <laughs> I know it's not. Now yeah. this is. Believe it or not, there's loads of videos on YouTube about this. Nintendo made a flash cart. All right. They did. Japan only, Super Famicom flash cart. Now what you would do is you'd buy this. Yeah. This is what it looks like. So this is official then, isn't this it? This is, yeah, look. This is absolutely official. It's, it's a white cartridge. The Nintendo branding all over. And this is definite Nintendo. Mm. What, this is like a, a cartridge you'd buy you go to a kiosk in your game store in Japan and they basically put the ROM on the cartridge. Oh, right. 
and you played it for as long as you wanted. There's little stickers. They had little stickers for each game, so you could uh, oh, do, so you put That's what game idea. you wanted on it. So the idea was that you just down, they they put the game on for you. You played it for as long as you wanted. When you were bored of the game, take that back into your Nintendo retailer. And they worked some out. They put it in a something or other and flashed it. Huh? So yeah, like you're really. So what about now? Can you flash it now or do you need some equipment to flash it or You can. I haven't I haven't started that yet, but there yeah. is there is some kit you can buy. To actually flash it. To flash yourself. it if you want to yourself. But yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've never seen some, that before. It's got some stickers. It's only cheap, it's about about twenty pounds delivered from Japan. Right. I thought it was gonna so, be quite expensive. Right. So uh, my next pickup is this. It's all PlayStation One all the way from now on with me, and uh, it's Contra Contra Legacy of War. Contra on the PlayStation. Yeah. By and Konami. the thing that's interesting with this is it's pretty mint condition. You've got uh, your manual and your disc, but you've also got your 3D glasses. Well, it's in 3D. You've got the choice on the options menu. You can play it in normal or wow, you can play it in 3D. That's cool. And these are actually Contra 3D glasses. Wow. They look like they haven't been touched. <laughs> look at that. Legacy of War on the legs. Brilliant. So, but I tried playing it in 3D and it just looked, don't worry, my eyesight's not the best anyway, but it just made it look very dark and I couldn't see oh. what the hell was going on and I quickly gave up on it. So I don't know how good the 3D actually is. Or, wow, I've never heard but, of that. Yeah, so I think it's quite... I guess common. it flopped because there's no other games with, well... Maybe there are some other games with it. Well, yeah, I don't know. I think it sort of flop because it was uh, not not flop, but I think it's quite rare. I think to find one we've actually mm. got the, the glasses with it. So um, it says um, on the so bottom, it same three D, and it's got oh, the yeah. picture of the glasses. It's the same typical Contra game, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only played it very briefly just to try out the three D. Cool. So, so Contra, yeah. I've got now a Master System game. This is an eBay. Game of Geek World. Yeah. Dracula. This is on Master System. Now, I. Um, what happened? I, it's car only, so I had to make the. Uh, okay. Nice. She made the case up, obviously. I think it's it about three quid delivered, so not bad. Yeah, the. Um, so I had the case, it's from some crap sports title or something that. I uh, robbed the case from, but yeah, it's just it's just artwork printed, so not original, but you know it'll do. So yeah, Dracula. It's a <coughs> platform game, one player. It's published by Sony, but who makes it? ImageSoft. Yeah, it's something I've never played. Yeah, it looks alright. Looks alright, yeah. Yeah. So uh, next up for me is uh, it's two games. Uh, so that's Dino Crisis One and Dino Crisis Two. From the creator of Resident Evil, Dino Crisis. Um, I never actually had these back in the day. I uh, played a friend's copy, mm. um, enjoyed it, and uh, thought it was about time I had them back in, or I had them in my collection. I say never had them. So same people that did Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's Capcom, and so uh, yeah, was Dino Crisis One and Two. Um, I'm Don't not know. sure whether it was right. on the PlayStation. It may have been, um, but yeah, so. They are mint. Yeah, they are pretty. Oh, yeah. There's a sticker on the front from the creators of Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> um, say also available the official Dino Crisis strategy guide. Which will do a copy. Now simply call 01373453888. Don't expect anyone to be answering that anytime no. soon. Yeah, so uh, sort of pretty good condition. Mm. And. Uh, Again, two again with the manual. 
Brilliant. No damage um, cases. Those were the bits and pieces. Registration card. Yeah. Virgin Interactive. Free post. Yeah, so what's next up for you? I have, on the theme of PlayStation, I've got Power Move Pro Wrestling from Activision. I don't remember ever seeing that. Now, this is a, uh, what, not quite that early. It's got a release uh, license number of um, 00202, so it's not like, it's early on in PlayStation's lifespan. I do love a good wrestling game, but I've never played this, and I mm. thought I'd give it a go. I've never played it. It was eBay, £8 delivered. Um, the case is in a bit of a bad way, but, you know, it could be worse. It's based on the, the number front, one but... wrestling game in Japan. Tukon Retsuda or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I've never actually seen that or heard that, that before, but by Activision, mm. normally make quite good games. I had it, originally I had the, uh, well I've got, I've got a duplicate of this, but I had the instruction manual and the disc, but no case, no case no. and you could only get the front cover online, but it was low res, You could, there's no back cover with the inlays online, otherwise I would have just printed one out and put it in a double CD case but um, so no I'm gonna upload the um, the scans to PlayStation Data Center or whatever so if anyone in future needs them then they will be there. Yeah. Next up it's uh, another double whammy from me and that's uh, Croc and Croc 2. Um, again two great platform games that I played on a friend's console back in the day Never actually owned them myself, so again, thought it's time to get these into my place. I'm sort of like concentrating on the PlayStation collection at the moment, uh, so it's good to get those back into the uh, or into the collection. Like a rival to Spiral. Yeah, yeah. So that sort of thing, isn't it? Mm. And uh, yeah, so I was happy to pick those up. Cool. Do you have something else? Yeah. Sorry, you keep having to prompt me. <laughs> Now this is a charity shop find. All oh, right, a charity shop find. This is one fifty. In help the aged, something like that. Would be aged too, so I thought I'd help them out and relieve them of uh, Super Mario Galaxy. This is the um, Nintendo Select Edition, so it's you know they bought it out when they sold like a couple of million. Yeah, um, yeah it's got the. Um, What's got the code? Is the code yeah, still there? Yeah, yeah. But, but don't they shut them anymore. down the the Stars yeah. program, so. Can't do anything with the code anymore. Oh, there's it. I'm just having a look now. Oh, there's a poster. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's a book bit. Not a poster. <laughs> Let's go. It's Mario so Party 9. Yeah, that's it. Project Zero 2. Wii Edition. Never played that. Uh, Pandora's Tower. Anyone ever played that? Uh, these are all rather not than game footage on the Wii. These are all like artist renditions. So. Yeah. Isn't quite as good looking as that. Mario Kart Wii and Wii Fit Plus. Nintendo Selects discover great Wii games that you may have missed the first time round with the Nintendo Selects range, a series of top notch software that offers varied gaming experiences at a price you'll love. So, yeah, they really want to be the uh, yeah, so a cheaper rate. Animal Crossing, WarioWare, Smooth Moves. Wii Sports and Mario Strikers Charged. And uh, yeah, the uh, usual put your wrist straps on because we won't be liable for when you knacker your expensive telly booklet. Or poster. Or poster. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. There must be some some wall somewhere we can we can put Fair this. Right. Yeah. But yeah, um, so it just has 150. Yeah, 150 oh, from a local charity shop. So um, next up for me is another double. That's Driver and Driver 2. Two great driving games. Um, really had fun with these. There's also a good version on the Game Boy Advance, which I enjoyed playing Portable. Oh, cool. Um, and I think I originally did have Driver, but I'm not sure whether I ever had Driver 2. So um, I've seen those going quite cheap, so I was glad to pick those up. And... Uh, Again, pretty good condition. Do you remember the Driver Parallel Lines came out and it was crap? Um, 
No, Larry that Bundy one. Jr. has just done a recent video about covers some of the history of Driver. Oh right. But it's brilliant. Those those are the, are the best, definitely. Yeah, and this one's two discs. So uh, don't think I'll say I don't think I ever played two. I had one. So looking forward to that be something else I'll probably be playing over the next week. It evolved to something else, the series, and I can't remember, I can't think what the hell it evolved to, but it, it changed to something else and it's it? still more modern than one oh, still going. Yeah, it? I didn't realise that. I can't remember what it changed into. I'll, I'll think of it in a minute. Right, we've got another Master System. Star Wars. Going to be a good Star Wars game. Star Wars. I don't have a clue what it's about. Um, don't know. So it's, it's, not like the, uh, like, it's not like the better graphics -y type one, then, is it? Mm, it's like, it looks like a mixture of platform and there's a shooting mission. There's five levels, which is always good. Keep you going. Yeah. US gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet it's so hard that those yeah. five levels are last year, like. Rescue Princess Leia from Darth Vader's evil clutches. Never a guess. You wouldn't. Seek help from Obi Wan Kenobi and Han Solo, but first you must find them. That's a Lucas Arts job. Finally, mm -hmm. blast your last fatal missile and destroy the Dark Side's HQ. And may the Force be with you. Yeah. So, yeah. The yeah, Star Wars on everything. So, it's US Gold and Lucas Arts, is it? US Gold, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, it's yeah, and it licensed by Lucas and Arts is the back. And let's have a look. Oh, it's got the manual. And uh, right, leave a comment or a thumbs up if you used to keep these stickers because yeah, I know I, used to I do did. That. Yeah, you used to stick them on the inside. Stick them, and I don't know why, but you just did. Or sometimes people stuck them on the carts, or sometimes people left them and they ripped them out there. But I used to stick mine there or under the back of it. But yeah, manual's a bit tatty. But this was um, this was about a fiver on eBay. So. Right. <laughs> Star Wars action. Next up for me is uh, Jex, Jex Deep Cover Gecko. That's on N64. Uh, this oh, case no. isn't quite as good, there's a few marks on the back of this one. But um, yeah, I did play some Jex games going back. So you say Jex? Jex, Jex or Gex? I, I, Jex yeah, or I Gex. pronounce it Gex, but I probably pronounce you can it pronounce it That's how I used to pronounce it, but. Yes, yeah, by um, Edos, well known for Tomb Raider games, mm. um, and I remember playing some of them back in the day, and I used to quite enjoy them. I don't know which ones I've played. I don't think I've ever played this one. So, uh, seen this one and just sort of. Was it like a three D puzzle? Not puzzle, puzzle yeah, puzzle. I've not played it, so it's not so okay. I thought I'd give it a go. And there's a sticker on the front that says, "Win a share of three thousand pound of Diesel Sportswear." Ooh. So I don't expect I'll be winning that. <laughs> that's perhaps that it doesn't say when it was when a share of three thousand. There's a small right underneath one that clues and <laughs> offer I ends. That, first yeah. of the first, nineteen ninety four. This is ninety eight, I think, it was Ooh, so small I can't read that. Station gave it ninety three percent, whatever station is. Do you remember Station yeah, magazine? That yeah. was Dave Perry. Oh right, the pay the Dave yeah. Perry job, was it was yeah. it a magazine or mm. all right. Uh, Crystal Dynamics, and again, these are the guys that did um, Pandemonium. Yeah, and didn't they do some Amiga stuff? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But yeah, Pandemonium is the main thing I can remember them doing. Um, showed them last month, I think I picked them up last month. Then Pandemonium 1 and 2. So, yeah, so that's Jex or Gex or. You've got your you kiddie, um, you've got a mixture there of like horror, survival, well, not yeah. horror, but you know, survival, action, driving. And platforming. There's a nice bird on the front of that as well. I mean, I expect she's in the she's game. Got, yeah. Gex, quit clowning around and get me out of here. Whatever happened to that IP? They must have just been it off. Never mind. It'll be back on a Kickstarter then maybe yeah. soon. So anyway, ninety three percent. So it's probably going to be good, especially if it's a Dave Perry job that says that. So yeah, it's got to be true. Yeah. If it's not if it's on a sticker on the front. <laughs> Wait. Next up, I have Biofreaks on the N64. This is boxed and complete. There's a bit of a story behind this. I try not to bore you too long. 
Now this, this was on Amazon, £29.99 plus £4 postage, listed as new. And I thought, what are the chances of a new game being on Amazon? Especially for the N64. For the, yeah, exactly. And another reason, or the main reason really I bought it, because I had it on cart only anyway, but the, you know how I always go on about box scans and the internet doesn't have decent scans and blah, 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 blah. Well, there's no covers, there's no um, scans of this box, pal, on the net. So I've scanned it all in and uploaded it. Now this was sealed. It came sealed and I put a post on the Nintendo Collector's Facebook saying, is this for real? Is it, has it been resealed? Because I, I don't know if it has or not. No. And there was there's some wear. It's literally straight out of the wrapper. I've scanned it and that's it. There's some wear on the corners along here. And I and I thought, well, how can it how can it be brand new? How can it have wear under the shrink wrap? Yeah, you wouldn't think it would, would it? But so I put a, put a post on and loads of people commented, probably about 15, 20 people commented and nearly all of them, bar about three, said, yep, yeah, that looks factory sealed to me. It had the, the, the steam down the side, across the top and down the other side. And there's a way the, the, the seal goes, isn't it? It's, yeah. So it's fake if it goes the wrong way or something. There's the same way it goes over there. There's and they, people always say, look at photos and compare it. And there was pe people have posted photos of theirs and, and games from the same um, publisher, which is uh, Midway, um, GT Interactive as well. And they said, yep, yeah, I think that's legit. And I am Denard for a few days and I thought, do you I mean, know what? I'm going to open it. Yeah, it's not sealed now, is it? <laughs> no, it's not sealed now. And I opened it, and you know how on what well, on N64 games, you know how you can't really get those open without crease in the middle. Yeah. When I opened it, it did look like it absolutely untouched completely, and I thought, oh no, what have I done? But no mind, it's done now, and. Call me a dickhead if you want. But you but can play it. Games are to be played. That's it. But I had it caught in me anyway. So. Oh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> but anyway <laughs> I've done... I might have taken a load of value off this. Or might not. But how can you prove if it's not? You don't, I don't want to sell it on to someone one day and then they say, oh, it's not... They opened it up and there's, I don't know, passwords written on the bloody instruction manual or something. And you keep telling wanna, yourself that. I will, yeah, I will. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you another thing though, the, the where it had been, where it was shrink wrapped and I think it had been crushed, you'll see there's a bit of box damage, it's a bit crushed, but the glue on this seam had over time just worn out. As soon as I took it out, the whole thing opened up flat, which was great because it was easy, well not easy great, but easy to scan, <laughs> um, so I put some double sided tape on the inside, but shh, don't tell anyone, but um, yeah, so um Biofreaks. It's a fighting game for Midway. So probably some of the guys that did Mortal Kombat and yeah. those kind of games. But was it real sealed or was it resealed? Who knows? Yeah. I'll never know. But anyway, that's enough of that story. So next up for me is a lot, there's actually a lot, three more games to go. And these are all games that I had the Platinum Edition of. Um, and I've decided I don't like Platinum Editions. <laughs> <laughs> Because of the coloured... It's because you got all your black, all your black spines all lined up and then you get like a silver one every now and then. And they ruin it, it just, with the silver. Yeah, and uh, so I decided I was going to buy new copies of, of sort of original black disc or black versions mm. of all the platinum uh, games I've got for, for the uh, PlayStation one. There's not many, so it's uh, a good thing. So the first one is one of my favourite racing games on the original PlayStation, and that's Porsche Challenge. Non platinum. Um, this one's uh, one of those ones that come in this funny little. Yeah, little box. slightly smaller. Yeah. They tend to. They tend to. They're probably made by someone else. We covered this before, haven't we? Yeah. Um, they seem to always be okay though. They don't yeah, break on no. the. Uh, this one's got a couple of a couple of scratches on the back, and there's a sticker. Someone's actually stuck, they've actually stuck on the actual back. Fun house. Yeah. So it's fun uh, house. Fun house, not Pat Shops. No. Uh, well. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, although that's maybe coming back. Apparently. Is it? Yeah. Uh, With Pat Sharp. Yeah, Pat Sharp and the twins. They've all grown up. The twins. Yeah. Uh, but used to knock one out over them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, most people did. You used to knock one out. No, not me. But it's a fun house. I didn't. Anyway, when I was watching Fun House, I didn't know what it was for. Yeah. Uh, it says they we buy and sell part exchange games. Thirty one Crayford High Street. It's Crayford. Crayford. Uh, no idea. Oh one three two two five five nine six seven two. Can't be that old because the O one number. Th yeah. So, Thirty one Crayford, Crayford High, High Street. Street. Let's get the Google Maps. So look at that. You keep but, everyone entertained. Yeah, and I'll yeah, look so it up. Porsche Challenge actually was one of my favourite races on the uh, PlayStation One. Uh, I played it again not long ago. The scenery always looked really good, and I played it not long ago thinking the scenery's bound to look crap now by today's standards, but actually, it's well, it still looked pretty good. Um, the game was always quite hard. You had to like, get to a certain checkpoint to open up the next part of the track, and if you didn't do it, you had to re sort of do that bit until you sort of like uh, sort of like did that part of the track, and then it reopened, and you just spent ages trying to just shave seconds off your time, and it is. Or about getting the handling of the car as well, the way it handled. So, uh, yeah, one of my favourite races on the PlayStation 1. Any joy? Yes. Well, it doesn't exist, but that's what it looks like. Crayford High Street. Yeah. Uh, where's 31? Um, let's da -da -da -da. Oh, there's a kebab. There's a kebab <laughs> shot now. There we go. There's... <laughs> there's not that we expected it to be there, but if anyone's ever been... Oh, there we go, moving around. There's a cement mixer there and um, a kebab shop so uh, and a golf shop. But where are you? Previously well, fun house. We're getting slightly off topic here, but <laughs> it's um, in London, he says. No, it's not. Ignore me. Anyway, enough of that before everyone turns off because they're bored. <laughs> me gabbling about... I love it when you see the labels of the old. Yeah, where they where they're from. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's annoying because the stickers are, are half ripped or whatever. Or yeah, whatever, but if they stick it on the actual yeah. box, you could have a, I just, have a I chance think, of getting it I think it's it cool though when you see it and you think, oh. And there's a couple of companies that come up every so often. Yeah, never seen Fenhouse before then. Yeah. So uh, I know a good name for a, a knocking shop now. Um, <laughs> anyway, last one. It's N64 type. Now this is the first. This is the first for me because this is a Facebook deal. Wow, I've never done a Facebook deal either. Haven't you? No. no. And sometimes you know, I'm just you know how paranoid I can be. Like you think, oh, you know, sending money, and then they go, oh, it's got to be a gift, and you think, oh, yeah. am I ever going to see this, or are they going to take the money or run, whatever? But no, forget that. This was ten quid delivered. From a guy just clearing out doubles or or um, you know just selling off some games or whatever he was doing, and there's a it's a Facebook page for N64 collectors, and there's rules on there. As long as you follow the rules, you know yeah. you'll be fine. And the rules are you put the price on there, and you have to include shipping. That's the that's the rules, and there's other rules as well. But you know don't stitch people up. You know the, the, what you'd expect, yeah. but. 10 quid boxed again no no pal scans or good scans existed so i bought it only little niggle which i knew before i bought it and the seller made it clear even though you can see it anyway is there's a little price label sticker and it says no book can you imagine what that might mean there's no manual yes there's no manual but yeah anyway so it's a little little tight in that but a tenner delivered yeah, yeah, so I um can't never, argue with that. I'm more of an Instagram guy than a Facebook guy, so um I've never done any Facebook deals, so I don't know the seller's name unfortunately, but thank you and yeah. It was great. It's a good price for an yeah, it's brilliant. Box. So that was your last one, was it? That is it. I am all spent. Okay, so I've got two left and the first one is probably the best fighting game on the PlayStation and that's uh, Tekken three. And uh, this one's pretty good condition. You were always uh, good at that. I'm crap at yeah, Tekken. I love Tekken. Um, Tekken tag on the PlayStation 2 is best because you could get four of your mates yeah. together and have a tag match. And kick my ass. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, again, that was another one that I had as a platinum. And uh, so clearing out the platinums. And uh, so that's Tekken 3. And another one that everyone recognised and know. Great driving game. Carbon Cell Fodder. Yeah. He took a car. He used to get his all the time. 
took a car, uh, touring car championship. Again, the great driving game. Um, mm. uh, Everyone had that on the PlayStation, yeah, didn't yeah, they? That. I've already got the second one. So um, that's good. Yeah, and I played and played that, but for some reason I only had a platinum one in my collection, so again, that's been given the Hevo, and uh, <laughs> yeah, so this has got, that's a sticker on the front of this, 91% from PlayStation Plus, 9 out of 10 from official PlayStation Magazine, surprise, surprise, they always give high marks on official <laughs> PlayStation Magazine, and 92% from Play Magazine, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a classic driving game, isn't it? It's really, really good. I do like it when you see those stickers saying, you know, yeah. but occasionally you'll get one and it'll be like 83% from Games Master and, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's uh, complete our uh, pickups round up for the month of August. Yeah, thanks for watching. What will September bring? Who Less knows? stuff. Yeah, it's probably. I'm broke. Yeah, and I'm uh, getting into vinyl. The old midlife crisis is... Uh, mm. Rearing his ugly head again. He's now a record player here. <laughs> turntable. Oh, sorry. It's a turntable. Get it right. Sorry. Um, There's a turntable here and loads of um, vinyl, vintage yeah. vinyl. Let's, I've got to show him this. No, sorry, cover. stay with us. I know we're getting a... I see, it's a retro. Everyone's seen that cover. Brilliant album. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So it's quite much fun. I've got to uh, split my budget on games and probably vinyl. Mm. So, but don't uh, worry, we're still going to be uh, waffling about video games because yeah. I'm not really into vinyl. But you are. Yeah. So anyway, that's uh, about it then. So until next time, as always, James, what they got to do? Yeah, keep it retro. And thank you very much for watching. Yeah, keep it retro. Like, comment, subscribe and all that sort of stuff. And we will see you again very soon. Bye. Bye.